For spatial practice, we focus on spatial experiences. So, I mean, it's also something I encourage my students to do um, often is just like how, you know, as an architect, our, our role is not just to make a pretty building, but it's about how does one inhabit space that means different things in different moments. Right, so you know, if you're going to a really tall space that's very narrow versus a very wide space that's very low, that spatial experience—not you know, not talking about decoration and not talking about um, what's inside, but just the space itself—is is very different. So that, along with probably trying, <laughs> this is probably because I'd been living in very urban spaces with a lot of people. Uh, but how do you instigate like these kind of human interactions? I believe I, I strongly believe, and I think Eric does too. I mean, we've done a lot of lectures about it too, is this how architecture can help human interaction, especially in today's society when we're becoming more closed because of um, security and we're afraid of things. Um, 